Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new here, my name is DJ Beneficial. And today we're going to be learning how to do this camera zooming in, zooming out effect in OBS. Now, what you're going to need to get started are two plugins that can be found at obsproject.com. One of them is called Move Transition, and the other one is called Source Switcher. I went ahead and put the link for both of those plugins in the description of today's video, so head on down there, get those plugins installed. And what's great about this is that this will work for you whether you're a Mac or a PC user, so everybody can have fun with this one. Now, once you have those plugins installed, we're ready to move forward. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is create a default scene. You can put anything you like in here. This is your stream, design it however you like. You can go with a raw camera look, or you can do like I did with the green screen and the whole setup. It's really up to you how you wanna make your stream look. So once you have your default scene set up the way you like it, we're gonna create another scene and we're gonna call this one main scene. All right, now over here in main scene, what we're gonna do is come down to the plus and we're gonna add a source. We're gonna add a scene and we're gonna add the default scene. So basically what's happening right now is we've added the default scene to this scene as a source. So basically everything that's happening in your default scene is being mirrored in your main scene. So this is all we really need to do here. We're gonna add another scene and we're gonna call this one zoom scene. Now over here in zoom scene, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna add scene, we're gonna add default scene but what we're gonna do is we wanna make this one bigger. So the way to do that is come down to the bottom here where you see that bottom red line, find the little red box, and when you get those double-sided arrows, just go ahead and click on that and drag it, and that'll help you resize everything bigger. We'll go ahead and move the DJ right here to the middle. Now it should just kinda of snap once you found the center, but if you're having trouble finding it, just come up to edit, go to transform, and go to center horizontally, and that'll just put you right in the perfect center right there. So this is what we want. Let's go ahead and lock that in. We got our main scene and we got our zoom scene. Now, once we have both of those, we're ready to create the effect. So we're gonna add one more scene and we're gonna call this one switcher scene. All right, now this time we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna add a source switcher, which should now be on your list if you've successfully installed the plugin. If you have and you're still not seeing it, maybe try restarting your OBS. So we're gonna add a source switcher. You can rename it if you like. And when we go to add a source, you're gonna notice that it doesn't have a drop down menu for you to choose from like before. So you have to actually type in the name of the source you wanna add. In our case, it's the main scene. You have to make sure you spell it correctly and it's also case sensitive. So since I didn't capitalize the S the same way it is over here, it's not gonna be able to find the source. So to get back in there, we're gonna highlight it, click on the gear. Let's go back and capitalize that S. And now you can see me. So we have our main scene. We also need to add our zoom scene. And what I think is a little bit easier just to take away any guesswork is just click on zoom scene, hit return copy it once it's highlighted copy it we're going to come back here add a new one and we'll just paste it in there so now we have our main scene and our zoom scene but it's stuck on the main scene it's not animated or really doing anything so two steps we got to do one is we're going to come down here and click on time switch that adds a duration of 5,000 milliseconds which is basically five seconds so every five seconds it's going to switch from one scene to the other scene, but it's just doing a rough cut. It's not zooming in like how we want it to. So we're gonna scroll down to the bottom under transition type. And if you've successfully installed the plugin, you'll have move available for you as a transition. So go ahead and pick move. And now you can see the camera zooming in and zooming out. Basically what it's doing is it's resizing the same source that's in one scene to match what it is in the other scene and vice versa. So it's just going back and forth and resizing everything, which creates the illusion of a camera zooming in or zooming out. Now you can play with the duration if you like, if you want it to zoom a little slower, let's also make that five seconds. Since our time switcher is five seconds, what it's gonna do is every time it reaches its destination, it's just gonna come right back and just keep going back and forth. Now, as you can kind of tell, it starts out and ends slower than it does passing through the middle, it's a lot faster. So you can keep it like that if that's how you like it. If you don't like that, then scroll down to matched items. Under easing, where it says ease in and out, we're gonna change that to no easing. 
And now this looks a little bit more to me kind of like the Instagram boomerang effect. Like it just goes back and forth. So you can have some really short ones. You can have some long ones where it's just kind of panning across the room. You can get real creative with that. I think I'll cover some more tricks that you can do with this in a future video. But for today, I just wanted to give you the fundamentals on how to create the zoom camera cinematic looking effect, which I think is a really cool way to spice up your live stream. If you found value in today's video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay in the loop with me. I'm going to be doing a lot more OBS tutorials and things like this, which will help you increase the quality of your stream. And uh, other than that, if you want to hang out with me on Twitch, you can come find me at DJ Beneficial. I put the link to all my social media accounts in the bio of today's video. And other than that, I just want to say thanks for stopping by and hope to catch up with you again soon. Have a good one. Peace.